Taylor Swift spoke her truth and so many celebrities are weighing in. We've got good and bad reactions to Taylor's Tumblr post and we're gonna break it down right now. What's up y'all, it's Emil Ennis Jr. here with Clever News and Taylor Swift is speaking out about some truly upsetting news in regards to her past albums. So Taylor recently posted on her Tumblr that her entire music catalog, not including her upcoming album Lover, will be owned by Scooter Braun, a man that Taylor claims bullied her for years. So Scooter Braun, who's known for representing artists such as Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande, will be in possession of the catalog after his media holding company, Ithaca Holdings, acquires Big Machine Label Group, Taylor's former record label. Now, in response to this news, Taylor took to Tumblr to vent out her frustrations and speak her truth on the matter. She said, quote, For years I asked, pleaded for a chance to own my work. Instead, I was given an opportunity to sign back up to Big Machine Records and earn one album back at a time, one for every new one I turned in. I walked away because I knew once I signed that contract, Scott Borchetta would sell the label, thereby selling me and my future. I had to make the excruciating choice to leave behind my past, music I wrote on my bedroom floor, and videos I dreamed up and paid for from the money I earned playing in bars, then clubs, then arenas, then stadiums. But Taylor then goes on to talk about the fact that she learned, along with the rest of the world, that none other than Scooter Braun would be the owner of her masters, and that all she could think of after hearing this was the bullying she suffered at his hands. So, after providing some instances of bullying, including the infamous Kim and Kanye drama, which we all know about, Taylor tried to look to the positive side of the whole ordeal, but in the end still feels, quote, sad and grossed out. I mean, we would feel pretty sad and grossed out too, but Taylor's not alone. Many celebs are coming out to support Taylor in the wake of this news. Singer Halsey posted on Twitter to show her support for Taylor writing, Taylor Swift is a huge reason why I always insisted to write my own music. I believed if she did it in a way that made my teeth ache like cold water and my heart swell and my eyes leak, then I should too, because that's how to make someone feel. To drag it from the pits of your heart, to offer it on a platter and say, take some, but take kindly. She deserves to own the painstaking labor of her heart. She goes on to add, it turns my guts that no matter how much power or success a woman has in this life, you are still susceptible to someone coming along and making you feel powerless out of spite. It speaks volumes to how far we have to come in the music industry. Halsey ended her post by stating she is standing with her. Rapper Iggy Azalea also came to Taylor's defense after a Billboard source claimed Taylor knew about the deal since June 25th by posting, Telling someone about a deal days before it's public means the deal was already done and she never had the opportunity to even make a bid to her own work. These deals take months to negotiate in long form. One of Taylor Swift's best friends, Todrick Hall, also came to her defense on Instagram and Twitter by writing, For those asking, I left Scooter Braun a long time ago. I am saddened by this news, but not shocked. He is an evil person whose only concern is his wealth and feeding his disgusting ego. I believe he is homophobic and I know from his own mouth that he is not a Swift fan. However, not all celebs have been in Taylor's corner. Justin Bieber, who is represented and friends with Scooter Braun, took to Instagram to try and come for Taylor by writing, Scooter has had your back since the days you graciously let me open up for you. As the years have passed, we haven't crossed paths and gotten to communicate our differences, hurts, or frustrations. So for you to take it to social media and get people to hate on Scooter isn't fair. What were you trying to accomplish by posting that blog? Seems to me like it was to get sympathy. You also knew that in posting that, your fans would go and bully Scooter. Now this is just a portion of his response, but he ended that lengthy post by stating, I usually don't rebuttal things like this, but when you try and deface someone I love's character, that's crossing the line. Hailey Bieber commented on that post supporting her man saying, gentlemen, but Demi Lovato, who recently signed with Scooter Braun, also got into the feud by posting to her Insta stories and said, I have dealt with bad people in this industry and Scooter is not one of them. He's a good man. Personally, I'm grateful he came into my life when he did. Please stop dragging people or bullying them. There's enough hate in this world as it is. She went on to say, y'all can come after me all you want, but I'm always gonna stay loyal to my team. I value loyalty more than most people in this world. And if my name is gonna be brought into conversations, I'm gonna stand up for myself and the ones on my team. Guys, I know this is a lot to process because everybody and their mom has something to say, including Scooter Braun's business partner, Scott Porchetta, who had quite a bit to say about the situation and at one point wrote, quote, Taylor had every chance in the world to own not just her master recordings, but every video, photograph, everything associated to her career. And then Eric Logan, one of the members of Big Machine's board of directors posted, quote, 
I'm not going to sit on the sidelines and allow you to rewrite history and bend the truth to justify your lack of understanding of a business deal. I also find it very interesting you use the word bully as I watch you attempt to rewrite history and parse words all from your massive platform. I'm reminded that's what a real bully would do. You're the real bully. Your power is fading. Your shine is dull. And this is what bullies do. They lash out. All we know for sure is that this feud has a while to go before anyone is happy. But now it's time for you to tell us your thoughts. What do you think about this musical feud? Should Taylor own the rights to her masters or is this just business as usual? Did Taylor know something before this went down or is she just as shocked as the rest of us? Did Justin Bieber or Demi Lovato have any right to comment on this matter? I know so many questions, but let us know in the comment section below. And then when you're done with that, be sure to subscribe to Clever News by clicking right there because you don't want to miss a single update. Oh, also click that bell so you really never miss a thing. You'll get notifications. It's great. After that, make sure you click right over here for a brand new video. And of course, I'm Emil Innis Jr. here with Clever News, and I'll catch you next time.